Okay, today I got another package from Amazon. It's my Hakko FX888 soldering station, as you can see there. And I did not expect to get this thing on a Saturday. So, just got home from work, found it on the counter. So, let's see what's inside the box. So, no tape or anything. I open up the box, and there's a slip of paper. This station has been tested and calibrated at the factory, which may result in the heating element showing signs of use. This is normal. That's probably a good thing to say because it, it does look like there's some solder on the tip already. Okay, these are all the specs and instructions. Don't really need those. So here's the package that the pencil part comes in. And it's really light, and the pencil's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. This is a good thing, because my huge Radio Shack iron was such a pain to use because it was heavy, for one thing. So, the lightweight pencil, that's a good thing. And that's with the cord, too, so I imagine without the cord, it's even lighter. Now there's some uh, cardboard. Here's the base for the, that the pen goes in. And it's a heavy metal. It's high quality. It's blue, yellow. It's all metal, though really high quality stuff. And now we've got the actual, let's see if I can figure out how to open it, pull this out. Okay, carefully. And there's the base. So I'm going to cut these open and show you. Okay, the solder didn't come with, but when I opened up the base, I found the sponge and the metal foil, the cleaning foil. So that came with got the base plugged in already and the pencil way smaller and lighter than I had ever imagined and that it's so lightweight and but it's like high quality I can't I'm at a loss for words right now this thing is amazing compared to my crap Radio Shack iron this thing is gonna be a joy to use so just thought I'd note that so here's the base to the actual station. As you can see, there's a kind of a weird plug on there, or as you can't see, it takes that wire coming from the actual pencil. There's a dial that is hard to read for, on the camera, but it's perfectly clear in real life. It ranges from 400 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 900, or uh, 200 degrees Celsius to 480 Celsius and uh, just a typical dial. There's a pointer knob on it. Just leave it at about 600. There's a power indicator LED. Uh, on the side there's the power switch. Uh, there's nothing on the back except for the Allen wrench that, uh, that takes that off. I just taped it there so I wouldn't lose it. On the bottom there's a uh, some info about it, the power requirements, and the calibration adjustment tool. It's just a little trim pod adjuster. It's just a little Phillips screwdriver, basically. And on this side, there is nothing. So pretty simple, easy to use. You just plug this in and flip it on, and it will heat up. So here is the uh, pencil in more detail. It's got about a four and a half foot cord on it, which is nice because then it can reach across the bench to wherever you need it. Just put it in the just put the base in the center of your uh, workstation. Uh, as I said earlier, very light pencil. The grip isn't the softest. It's a little slippery, so I'm slightly I'm a little disappointed about that. It's not the greatest, but definitely a lot better than Radio Shack. It's like a foam versus like a rubber, so. It's a little bit more comfortable, I would say. Um, let's see, there's a couple of stats on the side. Uh, you're not going to be able to read those. But they say uh, FX-8801, or 8801. It's a 26-volt pencil. It's 65 watts. ESD safe, and just says Hakka right there. Um, to change out the tips, you have to, let's see if I can do this. Unhanded. There we go. You unscrew this collar, and 
high quality, all this stuff. And then this slips off. And uh, it's actually two pieces, so... Actually, no, it's not. It looked like two pieces. And then you see this. This is the tip that came with it. I ordered several more, though. Um, yeah, there it is. That's the actual tip. So it slides over the ceramic heating element. And that is the actual heater. So, yes, all this is very, very nice stuff. It's definitely worth the price. Um, this over, this is much, much better. It's just a huge improvement. And you can't, I mean, you can't really go wrong with any of these high quality name brands either. I mean, ideally I would like to have a Metcal soldering station, but those are several hundred dollars, way out of the budget. So I got, I went for the Hako. And, uh, best $90 soldering iron you can buy, I would say. The only other competition, really, at that price point is a, uh, either a used Metcal or a Weller, W-E-S-51. Uh, and I don't know, it just didn't seem, it wasn't as powerful. The t It just seemed a little bit cheaper. Like, it wasn't, it didn't seem like it was high quality for the price. So, yeah, I've heard, I've also heard Weller, since it got bought out a few years ago, is kind of, uh, the quality has kind of taken a hit recently, so, Hako, it's Japanese, I don't know, really nice soldering pencil, lightweight, flexible cord, it's a burn resistant cord, so that means if this was on right now I could do that accidentally and it wouldn't burn, it'd set my carpet on fire, but... Who cares? At least your cord won't start on fire. Okay, so I'm going to put the pencil in the thing, in the holder, and I'm going to plug this thing in for the first time, if I can figure out how it goes. Okay, I see how that works. We're going to turn the temperature up to about 600 and flip it on. Oh, my power strip's not on. Okay, I was worried for a second. And it's heating. So, in real time, I'm actually going to turn this up to a little bit above 600. Let's see how long it'll take for this thing to heat up and melt solder. So, get some solder here. So this is going to take a little while, but it's heating. So it's heating. And it already melts it. That was like 30 seconds. It took 30 seconds for this thing to heat up. That's amazing. Okay, so I just soldered, started soldering up this uh, Atari Punk console. And this thing is a joy to use. I cannot believe this thing made me, like... It literally it instantly made me a better solderer. This is some of the best soldering I've ever done. And it was just instantly, just because of that ha uh, Hako. Or Hako, sorry. Hako soldering station. And it instantly made me better. So, that's something to keep in mind. If you're using a crap Radio Shack iron and you think you suck at soldering, no, try getting a nice soldering iron. <laughs> soldering station and you will be better instantly I guarantee it this is just unexpected almost instantly better